Hello everyone and uh, welcome to part two of this video series. Today we're going to be building the Airbnb pop-up for login. This is going to be a little bit different than the Loom video that we created before because this one is a pop-up that gets triggered when a user click the login button. It's different in a sense where that the UI is different. Other than that, it's about the same. You click a button and it triggers a pop-up. It should not be uh, the most different, but I would like to show you a few things that I have seen there and we can go from there. Very first thing that I would like to do is I would like to take you to the Airbnb website. At the Airbnb website, once you click here and log in, you see that it has a login pop-up that scrolls up from the bottom and it shows you different options to log in. And you can log in with your phone number or you can log in using any of these services. Since we already did on the Loom video, we're going to be copying some elements from Loom and pasting them into this login form. And we're going to focus on other aspects of it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to build a pop-up. And inside the pop-up, it will have a group, which is the other group. This pop-up is going to be a column. And we're going to stand this row all across on the top of the pop-up. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to drop a material icon here. This is on close. So we can close this pop-up whenever needed. And we're going to build that workflow really quick. That way we don't have to go back and redo it. And we're hiding pop-up A. We're going to rename this pop-up. It's going to be pop-up login. That way, if we have to reference it later, it's already built in. Lastly, we're going to build some padding around. It's going to be 16 pixels all around it. That way, we are creating that nice um, user interface. Now we're going to take a look. Uh, here it has a test that goes all across the top. And we're going to add that test here. We're going to let it stand until the end. And we're going to center this test. That way we are making sure that it looks similar to Airbnb. There is a line at the bottom, so we're going to add a border. We are going to define borders independently. It's at the bottom, it's solid, and it's a shade of um, gray. It's a lighter shade. The next thing we're going to add is this that's here. This is working to Airbnb. So we're adding the test and we're going to change the spacing later on. That's probably at 24 and 700 weights. We're going to take out the minimum height and the minimum width. The thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a group. That would be a column. And this will cover 80% this pop-up for about 85. And this is going to be uh, where they're going to be adding their country region. So we're going to go to the data side and tab, and we're going to add an option set. And we're going to create going to be blank for now. What we want to do is we want to add two groups in here. We're going to be our drop downs. So we want to stand this. This is going to be a column. Actually, this is going to be a row. And inside the row, it would have a column. It's going to stand all the way down. We are going to add 
two test elements. And one on material icon. This is going to be an arrow face down. And these two will be column. One is going to say it's country slash region. And the other one will say United States plus for now. We're going to stand this out as long as they need to be, because we want that glow on this icon to be as far down as possible. We're going to copy this on group and we're going to paste it. And this one is going to be, actually, we're going to just create another group with an input inside. We want to add the input. And this is the phone number. Now, what we want to do is we want to want to select the first parent. We want to add a small gap in between. And want to centralize it. Now, so. Going to close the loop. So basically, when when the country slash re, when this group is pressed, let's see, border is solid. Okay. Color, yeah, that, that looks about right. Then we want to add a padding, eight all around. Same thing for this one. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to add a boulder to this one and to the main one. So the boulders that will be solid and the brown is what we see. And there's this one in between. So we're going to add one for the top. And lastly, we are going to remove the minimum height. I tell you looks about right. So it's going to be 90%. I think that that would be fair. Actually, we can extend this as far out and we can create a bigger pattern all around it. Then it will look better. Then we're going to add a test element down that way. And again, like I mentioned before, we're going to add all the spacing in between elements later on. Then it's a button. Going to stand all the way out. Forty four. He says continue. And the color is actually red. So 
not the same shade of red. It's actually pink, but we're going to leave it as that. And this part, we're going to copy. And we're going to paste it here. And also this group. The nice thing about developing in Bobo is that in, in any other kind of development is that you can actually just reuse as much as you want. And it's not frowned upon. So now we're going to add some spacing. It's going to be about 16. Then for this one, it's going to be six for roundness. And they can extend it all the way up. A little bit different than the other one. Get the C's. We're actually going to make these a little bit. In the clip, right? Let's see. I don't think this is. Yep, that looks about right. We're going to center this test. We're going to make this a little bit more, about 16 by 16, 18 by 18. Now, the only thing that we need to do is we're going to add workflow. That is going to show the pop-up. Again, these tutorials, they are not geared towards showing you how to build the whole fun functionality is more about the design. We will be publishing more videos on uh, talking about the functionality. There will be individual videos where we will talk about how to do the Facebook login, login and other logins that you can do using plugins. But this video is more about the design aspect of it. So here is the preview and uh, you click on the login button. And here you have it. It's not a hundred percent same. Of course, there are color differences. And maybe perhaps we can make this a little bit bigger. So we're going to change this to percentage. And let's see if that gives us a better look. Perhaps it's about forty percent. I don't know. I think that looks about right. Yep. Give or take. Perhaps this test is a little bit smaller. Like I said, you know, there are certain things that uh, you can definitely do to make it look more like the exact Airbnb. But for a few minutes of work, I think we did a pretty good job designing this. Maybe we can make this a little bit smaller. At this point, you know, we're just wasting time for pixels here and there to make 16 pixels work together a little bit more condensed. 
And like I mentioned, we will come back and uh, actually redo this to look at a little bit better and to redo the whole workflows that we have built, that we will be building into it. If you want to know how to do this drop down, uh, I have made a video um, I published a few days ago and it shows you exactly how to do your own drop downs. It's relatively simple. Yes, you can follow the step by step. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you taking your time and sitting here through this video where I'm showing you how to do the Airbnb and lock it pop up. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Please keep an eye out for the upcoming videos. We're going to be releasing a few videos on talking about some API integrations and we're going to build a clone for a tool. I don't know which one yet. It's probably going to be a CRM, but keep an eye out on that for that. Turn on the notifications for the channel so you can get notified when we launch a new video. And if you haven't referred a friend yet, send this video to a friend. Pretty sure there are people out there that are looking to get started in Bobo and you will be doing them a favor. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.